What is that in your hand? It's a picture of Dearest. She gave it to me today. I thought you might like to see it. Do you miss your mother very much? I miss her all the time. But you don't miss her, do you? Miss her? Never met her. On Lord Fauntleroy's orders, you are to be left in peace until the end of the year at least. Thank God. May the Lord bless that child for the good he's done this day. Amen to that, Mrs Higgins. The wonder to me is that Lord Dorincourt allowed it. He was never one to be sentimental. Now, you know what, Mrs Mellon? I think, deep down, he admires the boy's pluck. Oh, damn the boy! Cedric! No, there's no doubt that the Earl could bring about great changes in many people's lives here if he could only be induced to do it. Why did no one tell you how things were here? Why didn't Mr. Newick say? That was wrong, wasn't it? <coughs> they told me. Someday you will be an Earl. And when you are the Earl of Doncourt. See to it that you are a better one than I have been. so good. Why did you leave your brothers? Because his wife came back, Mr. Hobbs. Oh. She was a witch, a real witch. I miss my brother, though. I'd be in touch if I knew how. Never mind that now. I've got a treat for us this evening. Is it from Seti, Mr. Hobbs? It is, boy. I thought we'd open it up together. After all, it is a dress to us both. Is it, Mr. Hobbs? Well, see for yourself. Well, sure it is. There, Mr. Hobbs and Dick Tipton. That's what that says. My, my. Isn't that something? <laughs> Mr. Hobbs, hmm. do you think we might open it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Dear Mr. Hobbs and Dick, I want to tell you about my grandfather. He's the best Earl you ever knew, and it is a mistake about Earls being tyrants. He is not a tyrant at all, and if you knew him, you would be good friends, I am sure. Well, he may be sure, but I ain't. And the truth is, he is never happier than when he is doing good. Huh. Come on, you've got to see it. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Hello, girls. I'm coming, Sadie. Heavens, two minutes won't make a difference. It'll make you so proud of Grandfather. Hello, Mrs. Errol, Lord Fauntleroy, good day. And by heaven, it is a good day. What's happening? Lord Dorincourt has ordered this whole section of the village renovated. Walls, roofs, windows, everything is to be repaired. Here, let me show you. Drains are being laid, a pump installed for every four houses. Hi there. Hello. What more could one ask for? <laughs> oh, allow me. You see? I told you how good he is. <laughs> that looks like tough going. We should have tackled it sooner, but it didn't seem worth it till now. Oh, come on, woman. Stand up when you're talking to his lordship. What's your name? I guess you already know mine. Oh, Lizzie Baker, your lordship. I'm Bill Baker, and this is Amy. Well, I'm glad to know you all. Oh, not as glad as we are to know you, my lord. We've heard all about you. Oh, you have? We have, your lordship. From my sister, Lucy, as you've been kind to up at the castle and please your lordship. Oh, I know Lucy right enough. Well, that's grand. I'll tell her we've met, 
And I hope they're looking after you, Mr. Baker. They're looking after all of us, Your Lordship. Thanks to you. Oh, no, Mr. Baker. It wasn't my doing at all. It's my grandfather you have to thank. You're right. This is good. I am very glad to see it. You must be grateful to Lord Dorincourt, Mr. Morton, for yielding at last to your arguments and yielding so wholeheartedly. It's Lord Fauntleroy that we have to thank for all this. We both know that. The Earl would indulge his every whim. I just give thanks to God oh, and to you, madam, that his whims are generous. Nevertheless, it is Lord Dorincourt who must give the orders and spend the money. Remember that, Mr. Mordaunt. Said he will not thank you for forgetting it. He's here! Grandfather! Ah, uh, Cedric. Come and see what they're doing. Now, Grandfather, this is Mr. Waddle and Mr. Slack. They're digging the drains here that'll connect up with all the cottages. Oh, fancy that. This is my grandfather. He's come to see how you're all getting on. Good morning, gentlemen. Oh, my lord. I hope uh, the work is not too taxing for you in this hot weather. Thank you. Not too bad, thank you, my lord. Oh, Cedric. My lord! Ah, Mordant. This must be a triumphant day for you. It is a great day for Dorincourt, my lord. Lord Fauntleroy insisted on it. He thinks it will improve the property. You may tell the tenants it was his idea. That may be so, Lord Dorincourt, but Lord Fauntleroy's mother has pointed out that we must not forget it's you that will pay the bills. Oh. You talked about the bills, did she? How kind. The Americans are especially gifted in that area. They talk of money a great deal. Or so I've been told. Uh, she was just here, my lord. Uh, she was admiring the work. Would you like me to see if I can find her? I wouldn't think of detaining her. Or you. Good day, Mr. Mordaunt. Come, Cedric. Robert, we'll walk. Have a visitor, my lord. Lady Constantia Loredale. I've shown her into the drawing room. Thank you, Thomas. Now we're for it. Who is she, Grandfather? Better get upstairs and get Dawson to tidy you up and then join us in the drawing room. But who is she? My sister. Well, Molyneux. Constantia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Don't be ironic with me, Molyneux. I'm proof against your barbs. I stopped coming here because I could not endure the mistakes you were making with your sons. I have come again to try to prevent you bungling with your grandson. Your interest is very flattering, but pray don't trouble yourself. Cedric and I are managing very well. Are you? And what does the boy's mother have to say about that? Does she think you manage very well? I've not asked her. Well, don't you think you should? No, I don't. I take it, then, that this mad story that's running round the county, that you will not receive your son's widow, is true. It is. Really, Molyneux, you are ridiculous. What kind of position have you put the poor woman in? And people will not visit her, as they will think her guilty of some transgression. You should be ashamed of yourself making needless scandal like this. Besides, her husband was a fine man, by far the best of your sons. What makes you think that he would marry someone unworthy? She is an American. Napoleon was a Corsican. The Princess of Wales is Danish. What on earth has that to do with anything? Ah. <laughs> Come here, my dear. I am your grandfather's sister. That makes me your great aunt. I'm pleased to know you, ma'am. You may call me Aunt Constantia, if you like. I sure do, Aunt Constantia. Gee, only a little while ago, I thought there was just me and Dearest. But now, well, we've got family. Dearest? His mother. Your mother? I should so like to know her. Do you think I might call on her? Oh, that would be swell. You see, she doesn't know too many people here yet. And, well, I think she gets kind of lonely. 